what's up youtube this is your boy mz from mz talks boxing <clears throat> so um i'm listening to the interview with 78 sports tv and deontay wilder and he shed a lot a lot of light on a lot of things viewing numbers uh the fact that ortiz has signed some kind of fight deal with the zone with the zone and um let me correct something that I said earlier in the video. Matter of fact, I'm going to correct this right now in the video. He didn't say that DeZone has signed Ortiz. He said Joshua Team has signed Ortiz to multiple fights. And um, the promise was to be able to fight Joshua. That never came to fruition. So when it came time to... Uh, negotiate this time for the fight it was quick for them to say he overpriced himself just like that we got andy ruiz okay back to the video went through the fights he was supposed to and the promise to fight um aj never came into fruition i'm gonna leave a description you can check it out on 78 Sports TV. And I mean, like I said, it's a good video, man. Uh, you just have to check it out yourself. Uh, for the haters and the detractors, you know, they're going to say what they want to say. But in order to get a view of the whole story, you do have to listen to both sides. Now, I, for one, have been in comments on Fanon's international boxing channel and blue blood and um you know i've been making comments in their videos and i've been going at it with, with, with a couple of cats and it's always you know what they say and what you know what they feel but when i break down the fact that eddie hearn makes some kind of outlandish statement and then it comes back <clears throat> to be a lie and that you can look it up and see the video i never get a response back which lets me know that it's a lot of malarkey going on a lot of bullshit whatever you want to call it that's what's happening and um in my opinion it's crazy first of all no matter how good you want to claim anthony joshua is or dillian white tyson fury or any other heavyweight that you so willingly want to put ahead of Deontay Wilder, just remember this. Anthony Joshua is, what, a gold medal uh, winner in the Olympics. Deontay Wilder is just a bronze medalist. But Deontay Wilder started fighting at around 19 to 20, maybe even 18. He wasn't in the amateurs for no long period of time. He wasn't a Golden Gloves winner, not that, to my knowledge, or anyone has ever spoke on, or he himself. He jumped to the in the ring to support his baby girl, who has spin, spina bifida. Not only has he done this. People saying that he's ducking other fighters, and I, that just doesn't make sense to me, seeing that he jumped into one of the most dangerous sports in the world where you can lose your life competing. Now, he's had over 40 fights, and everyone has said that Anthony Joshua is doing what he's done in less time. Anthony Joshua also competed in competitions as an amateur and Deontay Wilder didn't. Not on the level as Anthony Joshua or any other pro that's boxing in the heavyweight division. If there is one, I hope they stand up and let us know. But right now we're talking about a man who got in the game late, overcame every challenger that he needed to overcome earned 
the prestigious WBC belt. Has defended it more times than any heavyweight present. He is also the longest reigning heavyweight champion. And he did all of this with the least amount of boxing skills. That's no knock at him. That's more of a praise because there's been no one ever that history has told us about that has done that. So with all the hate going on, we're just going to have to deal with that. Now, he's getting ready to fight Ortiz for the second time. And the grumbling and rumbling has already started. But people were saying that the referee saved Deontay Wilder. So, what better way to prove that he beat Ortiz and didn't need help? except to run it back. And that's what he's doing. You'll hear him in the video if you check it out. He makes a statement to that. If it was a controversial fight, then run it back and get it out the way. So, with that being said, tables have turned. The tactics that were used in the UK before AJ actually came to America those things aren't working over here. America has too many outlets, too many eyes, too many independent people that are interested in boxing. Boxing Ego, Fanon, Blue Blood, 78 Sports TV, he knows his sports. The list goes on and on. Barbershop Conversations. These people are dedicated to bringing the truth out about these fighters. And they're trying to get the best fights to happen. Yeah, we're going to complain when we see that someone is moving up the ranks that shouldn't be. When somebody is holding a spot that shouldn't be. Or when somebody is just all fluff. And trying to be pawned off on us as if they're a piece of gold. Right now, Deontay Wilder has a lot of momentum behind him. His profile is, a lot of the UK fans like to joke that they said it needed to be raised because Eddie Hearn said his profile wasn't big enough. Well, guess what? His profile is skyrocketed now and it's starting to be evident that Anthony Joshua is not as well accepted and known as they've been lying to you. Anthony Joshua needs a big fight. One that's worthy of the public's attention. And at the moment, he, has, he does not have that. He can't fight Dillian White not here in America to satisfy the American people. As of now, it looks like Anthony Joshua is avoiding Deontay Wilder here in America. But the champ says that all parties are talking. Tyson Fury's and AJ's. He said the fights will happen. As I've said, arguing with one of my UK debaters, Eddie Hearn really is the only promoter that's running around, always talking about who's doing this and who's doing that. He's telling us more about what's going on in everybody else's camp as if they're inviting him to every meeting, as if he knows everything that's going on in every meeting. Outstanding, Eddie. Outstanding. 
you being in everyone's meeting, there's no way you can fail. Anthony Joshua should be facing, in my opinion, better competition than what he's facing. I'm not going to stand here and try to dress it up and make it seem like the people that were lined up, Jarrell Miller, and then that, that falls through because Jarrell was a knucklehead juicing up trying to I don't know what he was trying to do I'm not going to even elaborate on that I'm just going to say you know he messed up his opportunity with uh Deontay Wilder shedding light on the situation with Luis Ortiz it's more understandable why he was asking for more money seeing that he and the zone had did a previous deal that they didn't follow through on so swiftly, they said, just like that, he had priced himself out the deal. In comes Andy Ruiz, which in one breath, they keep saying that Al Heyman is stopping Deontay Wilder from making this fight. But then when you hear Andy Ruiz, who's with PBC, saying that his team got the call they came and talked to him. He said, yeah, make the fight. Next thing you know, the fight's made. <laughs> now, Andy Ruiz is coming off of a fight that he had in April. He's getting ready to fight again June for four of the heavyweight belts against Anthony Joshua. Now, they're, going, they're making this narrative that, oh, Anthony was training hard, getting ready for Miller, you know, doing uh, different things in training camp, trying to get ready. But then I hear Anthony Joshua saying now, oh, I'm just doing me because I've seen this style before. It's almost like he knows this is an easy fight for him. I pray that it's not. I, I pray that he has to battle and show his medal in front of the American people. It's still a lose-lose situation for him because people want to see the fight because they want to see if Andy Ruiz can surprise anyone, but they also want to see if Anthony Joshua will be able to deal with some controversy, which they're going to look at the product in front of him and say he needs to put quick work in. Anthony Joshua's profile is not going to rise and, and be up with Deontay Wilder where people are, are respecting the name, ready to see the fight, because we know America knows that we have a heavyweight champ that's knocking people out. We heard about a UK heavyweight champ that's knocking people out, but since he's been here, the products that they put in front of him, two of them really didn't pass the eye test. And the one that everybody is like, dude, we just saw him fight. We just saw a tease fight. Deontay Wilder, and that was a hell of a fight. Some kind of way he priced himself out. AJ's stock is not going to rise unless he fights someone like Ortiz, Fury, or Wilder. And we know Wilder is doing his thing right now, so that leads Fury. I heard some other names that they called, and Usyk was one of them, and I think Usyk is a cruiserweight. I could respect that if Usyk is the one saying, I, I want to fight Anthony Joshua, but if Anthony Joshua is turning around saying, I'll fight Usyk because I have no one to fight, then I've said it once and I've said it a million times. I can't respect the bigger fighter ever calling out the smaller fighter. He has no business to do that. Now, the smaller man might get little man syndrome and, and, and want to call out the bigger man. Hey, do your thing. And if you win, hey, power to you. But you get your ass whooped, no, you asked for that. I'm not going to hold you too long. You know, I just rumbled off on, you know, wanted to ramble off on some things about the situation and how things are going with our heavyweight champ, a guy that got in the game years after everyone else had already been practicing the craft. 
they joke about his 10 year stint and how Anthony Joshua has done all of this and what he's been doing. But Anthony Joshua has been trained for a long time to be a heavyweight. Deontay Wilder jumped into the game, showed promise, trained for a heavyweight championship and took it. His path seems a lot harder and he doesn't seem like a man running from anyone. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Leave a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. If you've been here before, I appreciate you coming. And if you're new, thank you for coming because you could have been anywhere, but you chose to be here with us tonight. So I'm gonna ask that you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon, please hit that so you can be notified when we drop more content.